All right, time for some volley bear. Uh, this is going to be a high elo game. This is a, uh, or I say high, a diamond two, diamond one rated game. I'm going to show you a new volley bear build that has been popping up recently, which I think is looking very, very strong. So yeah, pretty spicy if you ask me. It makes volley a much better carry champion for like lower elos as well. Because you're just going to be able to deal more damage, uh, which means you're inherently going to carry better if you play it right. So then this builds, yeah. Now right here I'm starting topside. I have a Cassidy in top lane, so clearing towards that is actually rather useless. The reason that's the case is because Cassidy's going to lose his lane regardless. And in a 2v1 situation against the Fiora, we're probably going to have a bad time anyway as well. So overall, clearing towards bot side, trying to make something happen like bot mid is probably better. Alright, so once you're doing this camp still, you want to use your E on the next camp. You don't really want to reuse it on your other camp. You take W then. Just focus the big one down, smite that one as well. And then as you can see with your basically your passive, you can uh, keep this up to clear this effectively. As you can see, all the procs go through all the, ca all the monsters in the camp here. Having no issue at all. We move on to the next camp. Try to use your E at max range on this camp here as well. As you can see the passive, I barely didn't make it this time, but you can make it there to uh, make sure that it doesn't reset. That's a nice minion block there. Make sure to auto attack the small ones. There we go. Take Q. Use a potion here. Lead with the camp here. Getting the shield isn't really a problem here. You just have to make sure that you just lead with the camp to save yourself as much time as possible. For the rest, you'll have plenty of sustain. Auto attack the small ones both once, so you can the red prof proc on them as well. And then we're just going to start the blue here. It's going to quickly run up the Gromp, stun it, walk back. And keep hitting blue. And from this range, we're going to switch to Gromp. We put the E down. There we go. All right, pretty good. Wasn't optimal, optimal, but it will work. Take Q. You don't need to hold your smite here. Because you can just get rid of the shield from the scuttle crab with your Q. You want to max Q first because it's going to give you the best, like, fastest gank opportunities. Going to go for this guy. Trade flesh for flesh with the jungler is okay. Alright, it's gonna walk up to- Why is my Yasuo leaving again? Are you okay, mate? <laughs> okay then. That works. Interesting. She walked up all the way to this point and he dashes out. I could always catch with stun there. She doesn't have flash either, so she would have died. But it's okay. I guess that's whatever. The Gwen would have died there 100% because my stun would have always landed and she doesn't have flesh to get out so she would have just been dead. Like her dashing towards the side here was all, should have been her death sentence. But Fiora is pushing here. I can actually look towards ganking right now. So I will. The ward here disappeared because you can see the dot. I just have to walk around. Make sure to not lead with your Q. He's gonna dive him. That is not bad. There we go. It's gonna give him the clear. That works for me. Good job. Alright, wait. There we go. Um, we're gonna get boots first. I'm gonna get some control arts with that. I wanna get the boots because having the tier 2 early boots on Volley Bear is really good. It allows that extra move speed. You don't need to help with your clear, but just having this extra move speed here is going to help you with ganks a lot. That's also why you're maxing Q. You're going to be able to charge at people really, really fast to get those early ganks off. You have a lot of base damage already, so you don't need the extra clear speed. And extra cooldown reduction is just extremely useful in this champion as well. So overall, that's why we're taking boots. I have 34 CS, which is pretty good. 
Put some early pressure down in the lens. Fortunately, this mi did miss out on one kill, but the Fiora kills succeeded, so that's pretty good to see. Uh, the Scuttle is going to be spawning soon, so I'm going to just do this camp right here. And then I'm going to go for the Scuttle. So I'm going to keep my Smite for Scuttle here as well. In case the card decides to show up for it and we can have a contest over it, I guess. Problem here is my, my bot lane... I mean, I have bot wave priority. Okay. He killed mid lane, that's very good. I'm gonna hit the plant here. Hmm. Alright, good. I'm just gonna th hit the play it slow, hit the thing. Get the rift uh get the scuttle here. Come on, hit the dragon, my guy. No 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 no. Oh, okay, well, I'm just gonna do dragon anyway. Make sure the control ward. Okay, we see a fight on bot lane. Gonna walk up with Q. Build. Focus the Jinx down first. I'm level 6, I'm a scary bear, so we're good here. I might go for me here. There was a bot lane fight there, so I stopped doing dragon instead and just went for the bot lane fight straight away. I can move straight towards mid lane here because this guy doesn't have flesh in mid lane. So I can just kind of just walk up. I'm going to transition towards top side anyway. Stun him. Castle showed up as well. Good. Just kind of charge at them. Okay, Kassadin got the kill, that's good. I didn't really want to take it that badly in that situation, because I know that Kassadin is just going to have a really good time with that kill. Got Smite here. As you can see, this Q Max and his Boots Rush is really, really helping out. It's basically allowing me to uh, catch up with people really easily. Alright, Kawas just spotted both sides, so I'm just going to Q straight towards the blue. Because I know this one is up, so I'm just quickly going to take this. I can give it to Cassidy potentially. I will give it to Cassidy. That's not too bad. I can get his Grom for this as well, because the car isn't going to show up, and my Cassidy and shoot at the moment still have priority for this. Top plant's up, spawns at 5:30. Bolt plant does the same. I'm gonna smite there to get my smite quest completed as well, and then we're gonna go for the Fiora here. Go over the wall. Gonna hold on to my Q, is it? Alright, I timed that poorly. Come on, Cassidy, you got this, buddy. Yo, you're Joe. Okay, he got it, but he dies. Alright, I just threatened there to get the Kha'Zix off the Cassidy's back. I slightly misplayed that there. Oh my god. Imagine that. Damn. That is one unfortunate ultimate right there. Okay, he is on the control ward right now. Ah, uh, but... I don't know if he's walking up here. Oh, he, he did walk up there. The, uh, the, uh, the My mid laner could have walked up there because I did have ult up. But this is okay. Right there, went for the Fiora. I tried to, like, hold on to my Q as long as possible, and then she, like, at the moment, I didn't think she was going to use it, she just used it instantly. So that kind of just went in an awkward way. But this is fine still. There we go. Good. There is no way they can go for this. I saw the ADC walk up into my jungle, so we're not, uh, I'm not accepting this. How did she get away with that? Where is my bot lane going? I don't see shit. I don't I cannot believe my bot lane allowed this, honestly. I'm not allowing this at all. No chance. I'm, I'm re absolutely refusing to allow this to happen. You get interrupted in your queue, you get you uh, 
Get your Q back, by the way. Yeah, exactly. I didn't think so. That that was the greediest play I've ever seen in my life from the enemy team there. If my team just follows that, my volley ult is just going to destroy them. Like, as you can see, just how much pressure you have on this champion. And I only have boots right now. Like, my base damage is so high. It's crazy. Like, it's so ridiculous. I definitely think you should be abusing this champion 100%. Like, you see how fa effective and how well it's working. And this is Diamond 1 ELO. So, anything lower, it just would work even better, really. Alright, so I'm going to clear a little bit. And we're going to be building for the Divine Sunderer Mythic here. This is going to make you an extremely strong champion to, f like, just fight people on. Okay, Q is now max, so we have the uh, all of the additional move speed. We have the tier 2 boots here, which is good. Making sure that I clear my camp here. The Scuttle is the one spawning towards the bot side, so I'm quickly just going to clear this and then buy a bunch of components that I would have for my Divine Sunderer, and I'm just going to go for Bolt Scuttle. And I'll also look for, like, the next Dragon Objective uh, when it gets there. Might look for a Rift Herald Objective here as well. But yeah, Divine Sunderer is really, really good. After it got buffed, it just became so much stronger. You can just really abuse people in 1v1 situations with this you're gonna be so strong oh actually on this back i should have bought one more item i can't turn back now but i should have gotten myself a dark seal in this situation i had the money for it that would have been really nice All right, my ult's gonna be back up in 16 seconds gonna clear this ward Ka might have the scuttle for this he does it is shield is removed though Okay, he got hit. I'm just gonna hop over the wall. He flashed out. I'm gonna take third aggro here real quick. The Nautilus flashed, otherwise I would have been able to stun him and kill him really fast there. Good, we're just gonna pressure for bolt third here. Sadly, my uh, mid laner died to... I don't even know what, to be honest. Maybe a gank from Ka. Yeah, he, he died to a gank from Ka. He was very much in an overextended position in this situation, though. But we're going to get Bolter at first here, which is good. Got the pressure there. You can also use Volley Ult to just hit turrets with it. For those of you that don't know. And you can easily get a dive off with that. That's definitely a mechanic you should be using. Or abusing, I guess. Alright, I have enough gold for my Divine Sunderer now. So we're going to base. I'm going to combine this with a Dark Seal right now. Because I do want to pick that up. Starting to stack up Dark Seal is very good on this champion. He has really good AP scalings, really. So you can really abuse like a hybrid build, which is also what this build's going to be. Because I'm from here on out going to go into like a uh, Zonias with a Cosmic Insight setup. Or Cosmic Drive setup, sorry. Uh, to just have a bunch of ability haste to get my abilities off much faster every time. And just do a shit ton of damage, really. I can really easily defend bolt lane here, so I will. Okay. The Rift Herald is kind of useless now because it's past 14 minutes, so I'm not going to prioritize for it. I will, however, go towards the mid lane right here. Oh, no, 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 this is gonna be bad. Okay, he's one shot. That's good. Good, very solid. Going in with the flash Q there to make sure that the car gets stunned. It's gonna run up here. I'm just threatening them to get them off the turret at the moment. Oh, okay, we got the turret down, that's good. We're just going to tell them to reset right now if they need to. Dragon's going to be up soon. Quickly going to take Scuttled. Going to take Blue Buff right before Dragon spawns. So I'll have the extra mana for it. It's going to hopefully get to level 11 before the Dragon spawns. That's my goal here. Having that always like trying to go for that quick level spike. If you can get it. It's very very helpful. So I should be hitting it off Wolves here. And then I can... When, with my team back on the map, I can really force the dragon down real quick. 
There we go. Okay, my Yasuo is having some issues. He overextended here, 100%. Like, you can't do this when the dragon's about to spawn. I'm just gonna hit him a bunch. As you can see, I'm chunking him quite heavily. Get my shield, smite the dragon for HP. Because I have no choice here. My guys. My my bolt lane is literally trolling. I don't understand that bit. Like, that was really cringe. But it's whatever. Okay, so we're just gonna get this. Building towards this right now. Zonius is gonna help me quite a significant amount. We still got the dragon, so I'll overall take it. But I don't think I should have died there if my Caitlyn or my Senna would have just helped me out on the side. With the Ka and the Jinx. Alright, I'm just gonna go clear my top side real quick here. Can also still play for the Rift Herald to pressure down for a little bit more pre for a little bit more uh, aggression right now. Just quickly gonna march through my camps really fast. I will go Rift Herald here. I don't know why my Yasuo is playing this aggressive towards the bot side. It doesn't really help anything. Alright. I'll get the Rift Herald here. My, this is, I'm doing this because I want to pressure the uh, mid lane down when we win the next fight. I can probably 1v1 her, to be honest. You can see the damage I'm gonna do, I'm gonna be able to do here. Okay! And you're dead. <laughs> you see, like, even that might- like, that kind of looked close, because I wasn't expecting that much burst, so I tried to hold my ultimate for a while. But, like, overall, I'm still murdering her. Like, I basically one shot her the moment I popped my ultimate there. That's what it came down to. I'm gonna have to quickly run mid here. Which I think my Kate's gonna die. Ah, I got slowed heavily by the car. I'm not gonna be able to walk up there. My Q is on cooldown now. Kha's W slow is really painful to deal with sometimes, so... Kinda rough there. I, I don't have too much mana. I need to back real quick. Got my Zonias here, and then we're gonna go Cosmic Drive. So I'm gonna get a Health Crystal for this one. So the ideal build here is just go Cosmic Drive, and then after Cosmic Drive... What is this? Cassidy is losing his mind, I see. Um, you can go Cosmic Drive into Abyssal Mask for the, like, imb like a... I'll show you. Abyssal Mask gives you... Immobilization gives you 15% increased damage, which is really, really good. Oh, I just... I hate W slow so much. It's so overpowered. Even, like, I play Kha'Zix a lot, and I, I'm still saying it's overpowered. Slow is ridiculous. I have my ult up. I'm just gonna go play some aggression in this jungle here. Okay. I'm not gonna get out of this one with my life. That was too greedy. My bad. I actually didn't think that was warded. That's just straight up my bad for going too aggressive. 100%. Okay. I know this is kind of like after I inted the, like, strange to say, but it's still like my, my Yasuo simply isn't grouping ever. And I think we just win a 5v5 every single time if he just comes. Anyway. But yeah. That was a whoopsie and a mistake on my part. I went too aggressive there. Thinking I might have like some type of um, 
pressure there with backup, but I clearly wasn't having any backup in that situation. Hmm. Alright, they got the, this guy. Just come to Dragon now. As long as they just walk down the Dragon right now, we should be fine. I can use the Rifter out bot lane whilst the Dragon's gonna be a thing. I can use one Smite because I'm gonna have the other Smite ready still. I'm gonna use Rift Herald on bot lane. Draw some pressure. It's gonna summon the Herald here. Wait for the card to show up. Where the hell are you going, buddy? This man has absolutely no balls on casting him with that many kills. Thank you. All right, I had the I had to make the entire engage for him, but he eventually followed, which is very nice to see. That's good. Rift Herald is pressuring bot lane, and the enemy team FF'd. But you see how much agency you have with this champion in the early game. It's really crazy. And this build will also scale pretty damn well. You're going to get to about 110 ability haste. So you're going to have your abilities really, really fast every time. And yeah, we'll look at the stats here as well. Um, I'll give it to that guy. So as you can see, Diamond 2 rated game. MMR is pretty reasonable there. Diamond 2, Diamond 1 rated game. I did. 11k damage which is the second highest on my team apart from the Cassadin. very solid there damage taken 23.7k damage taken as well very good look at healing done here as well 10.2k and yeah that's volley bear this build with divine thunder is really really strong if you're not too comfortable playing the ap variant i would say that going tank items is fine as well so you can just go ionian boots divine thunder into like um spirit visage uh like random ones just tank items in general and you should be fine as well so yeah that's it for volley bear if you guys have enjoyed this video please make sure to hit the thumbs up button below this has helped me out quite a bit if you'd like to see more videos from me in the future hit the subscribe button as well and i'll see you guys in the next one bye